Nothing but raw meat for months now. No, that's not the worst part. No, no, that's the bones and the teeth. They cut your throat on the way down. I'm... I'm so sick to my stomach all the time. But I can't vomit. Day in and day out, it's always the same. The chasing, the screaming, the inevitable silence. Then only punctuated by the squelching of our mouth's masticating flesh. I see it in the other's eyes, too. We are all disgusted with ourselves. Some still weep while they chew. I got over that weeks ago. Before I was bitten, I did everything in my power to stay alive. Kept my wife and myself locked up safely in the basement. We survived the initial wave, but eventually there was no more food, and I needed to go out for supplies. Day. Day snuck up on me in the supermarket. Having found a few cans of beans, I was so excited that I let my guard down just for a second. Once I felt the teeth sink into my arm, I knew it was over. A hundred percent infection rate. No cure, no immunity. I told my wife that if I was ever compromised, I wouldn't come back. I would never risk her safety. I reached for my gun, and it nearly pointed at my head when one of them grabbed my arm and stopped me. They pinned me down to the ground and just waited for it to take over. It doesn't share its thoughts with me, but I still don't fully understand its actions. But what I have figured out is that those that are healthy and strong, they become the new hosts. Those that are old, weak, Injured? Many women. Most children. They became food. Nothing more. It was several hours before I heard her voice. Ben? Ben, where are you? No. I told her to stay put. Never to come looking for me. Desperately, I tried to call out to her, to tell her to run. But I was no longer in control of my vocal cords. No longer in control of anything. In horror, I watched my own body rise from the ground and follow the others in her direction. She, she tried to flee, but she wasn't quick enough. We caught her in seconds. I, I could still hear her screaming every night and see myself tearing holes in her beautiful face. Now, now I wish for death every day. Every time we find a new group of survivors, I pray one of them will finally put a bullet in my head, blow me up, crush my skull, anything to stop this madness. Today, I thought I might get lucky. We came across a heavily fortified house, and I watched several of my Compatriots fall to booby traps on the perimeter. Unfortunately, I was with the group that breached the door. 
He stopped a few of us before he ran out of ammo. But, as it was inevitable, we overwhelmed him and held him in place. He was strong, therefore a new host. At least that meant no feeding for now. Then, at that moment we held him down, this new host to our horde. I heard a child whimpering in the next room, and my head turned.